The CHP is investigating the mysterious death of a 23-year-old man. He somehow fell out of a lift car onto the 110 freeway. And tonight, his father is opening up about the ordeal. He believes the driver is to blame. CBS 2's Peter Dout spoke with the grieving father and is live in downtown L.A. Peter? Yeah, Rick and Pat, it was here on the busy 110 freeway that Justin Lavelle somehow fell out of the lift car he was riding in. He was then hit by multiple vehicles. Lyft has now apologized and fired the driver involved. A bizarre death on one of LA's busiest freeways. CHP investigators say Justin Lavelle was killed last week after somehow falling out of the lift car that he was riding in. The 23 year old was hit by multiple vehicles and later died at the hospital. Lavelle, a waiter from Virginia, was heading from West Hollywood to Long Beach. His friend says Lavelle called him during the ride to complain about the driver who had apparently threatened to throw him onto the freeway. Lavelle later called his mother, screaming the driver had pepper sprayed him. Moments later, Lavelle somehow fell out of the car and right onto the freeway. We spoke with his father by phone from North Carolina. What person in their right mind would get out of a, a vehicle on one of those busy highways out there unless he was forced? In the wake of Lavelle's death, a Lyft employee sent this email to his friend that reads in part, Obviously, the behavior that displayed towards your friend is in no way something we would ever encourage, condone, or defend. The company also sent us a statement. We are deeply saddened by this incident, and our thoughts are with those impacted by this loss. We have been in daily contact with this individual's family to offer our support and assistance. Given the serious nature of these allegations, we immediately deactivated the driver's account. We have proactively reached out to law enforcement and stand ready to assist in their investigation. Lyft also acknowledged it has a strict no weapons policy, including pepper spray for drivers and passengers. I see some instant culpability that they're acknowledging. He did something. Back out here live, CHP investigators say they still have not spoken with the Lyft driver, but they plan to. Right now, they are still gathering evidence and speaking with witnesses. Back to you.